Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to look at something fairly simple. Now, every Linux distribution comes with a shell. And when we talk about a shell, we're usually talking about your when you're in the terminal, you're, we're talking about this thing. This is basically your shell. It's a little bit more complicated than that, but we'll just talk, you know, leave it simple, simple like that. Um, most Linux distributions, all but like one or two, I think, actually, come with bash as their shell. So yours probably looks like this. Um, you won't have the uh, NeoFetch there, but it'll probably look like something like that. That's your your prompt or your bash shell. Um, I use ZSH, and mine looks like this. Now, I've themed it a little bit. It's just, you know, for simplicity, minimalism, sake, or whatever. Um, but really, no matter what shell you're using, there's a cool function called aliasing. So basically, when you type in, say you want to get into your document editor, whether you use Vim or NeoVim or Nano or whatever, chances are you'd have to type in something like this. And then, you know, I want to go into my config for my polybar. I'd have to type in all of that. Um, and it can be kind of a pain. Or you, could, you might have to type in... Um, same thing if you want to do like into your i3 config. And you'd have to do that. See, but if you use an alias, like I've set up an alias for my i3 config, and it just looks like this. I just type in i3 con, and I get into the same thing. That's what an alias basically does. It's a, it's a shortcut of sorts from that leads you to a full-fledged... Um, argument or a command. Um, so, the question is, how do you set up an alias? This sounds really cool, right? So, in order to do that, you'd want to go into either your uh, bash rc file, which will probably look like this. Or, you want to, if you're using zsh, you want to go into your zsh rc file dot zsh rc file, and it will look like this. Now, As you can see, I've it's gonna depend on what distribution you are and what where you started off at. You know, it will look a little bit different. But basically, what the ZSHRC does is it provides the base level arguments for what your shell looks like, what your prompt looks like, and so far, so forth, and so so on. Um, and as you can see, I have a whole bunch of aliases here that I've set up that allow me to save time not having to type in things. So specifically, like I have this update one here. So I type in update, and really what that's telling DSH to do is really to run this command here, sudo pacman dash s y y u and n y a and so on and so forth. That basically just updates my system completely without me having to do anything other than enter my, you know, root password. Um, this one here cleans up uh, abandoned profiles. Uh, this one here gets me into my VimRC or my Nano Vim, Neo VimRC. This one, um, the one I really like, this is my favorite alias of all time. I just type in V instead of having to do NVim, and that gets me into Neo Vim without having to type in the whole thing every time. Now, as you can see, these are really easy to set up. Um, I mean, just really easy setup. So what I'm going to do today is just show you how to set up an alias real quickly. So what I want to do is type in alias and then the next argument you want to pass in is what you want your alias to be. So basically the euphemism for lack of a better word of what your argument is going to be, your 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 shortcut term. And I'm going to create one for my poly bar which I because I don't have that yet. So I'm just going to call this poly and then equals quotation marks and then this is going to be uh, nvim doc. Uh, I think I have to, yep, dot config slash polybar slash config. And that's it. Now we save that and we quit out of your terminal. So you have to start up a new session of ZSH. It's just easier to quit the terminal and start over again. If we type in poly, it takes us to the polybar uh, config. And it's really as simple as that. So, uh, type in my ZSH 
alias, and that takes me to my ZSHRC, and we'll do it one more time. Alias. Now, I found a program the other day that allows me to practice typing in the terminal. It's called WPM, and it looks like this. But it has some arguments. Um, and, and it allows me to, you know, pass in a stats file. So the argument would be like that. I don't really want to, have to type that in every time. So what I'm going to do is copy this and then go into my ZSH file. Oops, I've already got that open. And, and uh, type in alias. And then type in WPM equals. And then that thing I just copied. Apparently it didn't copy. That's okay. Oops. Let's see if it's there. It is there. There, okay. And then that will allow me to use what WPM with this flag instead of having to type that in every time. So... We, oops, we write this, and we do WPM, and that gives us, um, gets us into the program, but using that stats file, so it keeps track of, you know, how fast I type, which I'm not going to show you how I do, because I suck at typing fast with an audience. Anyways, that is alias. Now, there's another thing, real quickly. Uh, let's see if I can show you this. I'm not sure if I have one set up. These are things are called functions. Okay, and these a function is a little bit different. Basically, what a function allows you to do is you could theoretically write yourself a little bash script or ZSH script that would work similar to how an alias works. So this one here sets my wallpaper. Now this leads to another script, um, but alternatively you could create a function called oops, damn. Hit the page up button. Function. And then squirrely, black, squirrely brackets. And then um, you could do... Um, I see a good, a good example of this. Like uh, I'm trying to think of a good example. Uh, yeah, you could do uh, like this. YouTube dash, and then pass in arguments, if I can type, and then that would allow you to go through and type in, if you do this, just call this YT. Uh, a, we'll call it YTA, because I already, already have YTA, D. i got to put a space in there. And then that what that should do is go through and run this with whatever argument comes after this. So we'll see if that works. I'm not actually sure if it will work. Um, again, you have to quit out of that session of ZSH. So if we just type in YTA... Did we do, just do YT? I thought we did YTA. No, we just did YT. Okay. So we do YT and then pass it a... Uh, a song or something, I don't know. Um, just let's say we wanted to download this video here. We just uh, copy the link location... Go back to here, copy that, and then type that. Mm. We've added this wrong. Maybe I got the YouTube BL. I'm I'm a dumbass. Mm. <laughs> So we do this, you know, the right way, you know. That's better. 
Now, if we do yt and then this, yeah. I might have passed the wrong area. Anyways, <laughs> obviously I'm not using it YouTube DL, you know, correctly. <laughs> um, but you could put it put in any argument there you want, and that's a function. W what's different is that you functions are more for uh, scripts and things that you want to f have a flow to them. So you could put multiple arguments if you wanted to, or even lead directly to a script. Whereas an alias is for a uh, specific bash or zsh command. And that's really it. They're very, very useful. I have, Like I said, I have a ton of them set up. Um, I have the these here for word sprints for when I write. Um, C is for clear because I mean, every, everybody knows that you can press control L to clear. But it's much easier to pr just press clear, or the letter C, and that works for me. Um, it's basically about saving time. So anyways, that is alias and... Just a brief look at a function that actually didn't work, um, mainly because I think I'm pretty sure I did not use these flags correctly. I can't remember. I don't use YouTube UTBL very often, um, so I'm sure I probably did that. We'll just go ahead and delete that. Anyways, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't care for it, give it a thumbs down. I don't particularly care which you do. I just you know would prefer you do something. Uh, if you really liked it, give us a subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.